We're talking about the abundant life, and it's something that I like to talk about. I'm Keith Brown. This is Tack Room Devotional. Yesterday, we showed that the abundant life is a yielded life. We need to yield our lives under the, the direction of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. Today, I want to talk to you about the fact that the abundant life is a service life. Grab your Bibles, open them up to Romans chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. It says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present yourselves a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. You see, to live abundantly, we must serve the Lord Jesus Christ, who gave of himself for you and I. We're to be just like him. Amen. He was a servant all along. Again, he served, uh, was a servant in the fact that he came and gave his life for you and I that we might have uh, eternal life with God the Father. He shed his blood for you and I. But we also see him today still in operation, still in service. When we look at uh, Hebrews chapter 8 and verse 2, it says that Jesus is a minister or a servant of the sanctuary and of the true tabernacle which the Lord erected and not man. He's talking about him sitting at the right hand of God the Father in heavenly places, making intercessions for you and I. In other words, still serving you and I today. Isn't that amazing? Our Lord and our Savior in service for you and I. Still doing all the things that are necessary in order for us to live this abundant life. Hallelujah. So if it's good enough for him, it should be good enough for us. So if he serves, then we too ought to serve. Why? Because we have the mind of Christ. We're the body of Christ. We're the bride of Christ. We put on Christ. Amen. I've been crucified with Christ. It's no longer I who live but Christ who lives in me. So therefore, I should have an attitude of service. So first of all, in this passage, it says, you are to present. This is a volitional surrender to the perfect will of God. You present. That's you, voluntary, making a choice. I am going to present myself today. But it goes on to say that we're to present our bodies. God must control and use the whole man. And may your whole spirit, soul, and body be preserved blameless of the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. That comes from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 23. Your whole man was redeemed on the cross and sanctified, set apart for service. Amen. Present your whole bodies. And then we're not only to just present, we're not only just to present our bodies, but you are to present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable to to God, which is our reasonable service. There it is. This is exemplified in the life of the Apostle Paul. He was a living sacrifice. In, in life, he was a servant of Jesus Christ. That comes from Romans 1.1. 1, 1. In battle, he was a warrior, Ephesians 6, 10 through 18. In the will of God, he was a prisoner of Jesus Christ, Ephesians chapter 3, verse 1. These words were spoken from a Roman prison. He never referred to himself as a prisoner of Rome. To the apostle, prison was a part of the perfect will of God. With this conviction, he lived a abundantly, Philippians 1 verse 12. In death he was victorious, 2 Timothy chapter 4 verse 7 and 8. Uh, you have been transformed. See, um, it, it says that 2 uh, chapter, uh, chapter 12 verse 2 says, and do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. I was once told this by a friend of mine, if you're not being transformed, you're being conformed. In other words, if you're not transforming your mind, you automatically become conformed to this world, and we don't need that. So we, we have been transformed, changed by the power of God, and no longer conformed to this world. See, we, if we are living this uh, yielded life to Christ, and a life of service to Christ, then we are committed to His will and His direction, and we will experience an abundant life through Him. Hallelujah. I'm Keith Brown. This is Tack Room Devotional. Jesus loves you. I love you. I pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently seek Him and serve Him.